Nancy Pelosi waved the white flag of surrender on a big impeachment fight. Democrats walked into their investigations of Donald Trump confident of victory. Congressional Democrats counted on racking up court wins that would produce the smoking gun that would finish President Trump once and for all. But that blew up when Nancy Pelosi waved the white flag of surrender on this big impeachment fight. Democrats figured they had multiple avenues to pursue impeachment. However, one by one, these paths closed off as theories about crimes committed by Donald Trump turned out to be hoaxes or exaggerations. Robert Mueller's witch hunt against the president ended with a dud. Collusion between the Trump campaign and the Russians ended up being a hoax. And despite assembling an all-star team of Democrat prosecutors, Mueller failed to recommend charges of obstruction of justice against President Trump. The Democrats' backup plan turned into a dead end when prosecutors in the Southern District of New York announced they closed up the investigation into hush money payments made during the 2016 election to two women claiming affairs with Trump without filing any additional charges. That left Democrats one road to impeachment, and that involved Donald Trump's finances. During the presidential campaign, Donald Trump ignored the very recent American tradition of party nominees making their tax returns public. Trump explained he was under audit. The American people obviously didn't care because they elected Donald Trump anyway. But ever since then, conspiracy theories floated around that Trump's tax returns are his evidence of money laundering with the Russians or other financial crimes. House Ways and Means Committee Chairman Richard Neal utilized an obscure 1920s law that allows the Ways and Means Committee Chairman to request the tax returns of an individual citizen. Instead of accepting the Democrats' harassment, Donald Trump fought back. The president's lined up legal challenges that has Pelosi's key allies in the House admitting that the president can litigate the case over his tax returns past the 2020 election. It's hard to predict. We're going to push, Representative Dan Kildee stated. It's just given the amount of time it takes for cases to move, unless the court makes a decision that these arguments are not complicated and they're going to expedite, it's going to be tough. I understand people's frustration, but there's a tendency to focus that frustration on the person who has the responsibility to pursue this course. But I think it's misplaced. He's done this by the book because he knows it's more important to get this right than to get it 30 days faster," Kildee added. If the Democrats want to impeach President Trump, it needs to get done by October. The tax return fight drifting into 2020 means an impeachment fight would take place against the backdrop of the presidential campaign. Impeachment polls poorly among the American people, but Democrat voters strongly support it. That means the party's presidential candidates would be forced to adopt an extremely unpopular position in order to secure the nomination. This is why Americans see Nancy Pelosi's key people in Congress beginning to tamp down expectations on the president's tax returns.